Hey, TPI fam. My name is Timmy Solo Okai, and I'm here with Dr. Edith Prakash. Now, we go way back. Yes. Way back. <laughs> Um, because I, I remember when you were pregnant with your youngest Hadassah, uh, she used to hold all night prayers. This lady, three children, all night prayers, and when I say all night, I'm I'm talking all night. We're there from she's probably there from eight, yeah. praying all the way to six a.m. Yeah. Like for years, she would do this. Eight years. Yes, and I just for that, I'm like, wow, I miss those times. But God has done so much in your life. Yeah. You are an author, a doctor, you're travel you've, she's traveled to over 30 nations preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. So, but before we get to the spiritual food, we want to start with the actual physical food because this lady can cook. <laughs> when I say cook, I mean cook. You make the best goat biryani ever. Yes, ma'am. You do. When I yes. I mean she had us over, um, it was me, Hanisha, Lydia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's Lydia's birthday today, actually. So happy birthday, Lydia! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, you would make the best goat biryani. So I just want people to to have a taste of, or at least pretend they can cook mm -hmm. like you. So can you just let us in on the secret of how to make goat biryani? It's all in the texture of the meat and how you cook the rice. Because it has to be the perfect combination of rice that comes, you know? It, it can't stick with each other. It has to be perfectly cooked. And then you gotta boil the mutton or lamb or goat, whatever you have. Okay. And you put butter, mm -hmm. and you put lots of onions, and you braise the onions, and then you put real cinnamon, and clove, mm -hmm. and cardamom, and you find the aroma coming out, and then you put ginger garlic paste. And then you, you really stir it up, and then put a little bit of allspice powder, and chili, cumin, coriander, mm -hmm. and turmeric. And then you put all the mutton inside and then you cook it until the meat is tender. Then for one cup of rice that you add, you add uh, two cups of water. Okay. If you want your biryani to be really good, then you don't add water. You add the soup of the meat. You boil the meat earlier. Oh, the stock. And stock, yeah. If it's oh. chicken, it's chicken stock. If it's mutton, you, you boil it and add the uh, soup to the rice. Oh. So one cup of raw rice would be two cups of soup. Okay. And then when it gets to cooking a little bit, you know, the rice is cooking, mm -hmm. you close it and you put it on sun. And it, the, the, all this thing cooks together. And then you add tomatoes as well. Mm, and I'm then hungry. the main Just ingredient for the biryani is three things mint leaves, you add mint leaves. Okay. Then you add a cup of yogurt. Yogurt? Yes, yogurt. Okay. And then you add. Like plain yogurt. Plain yogurt, okay. white yogurt. And okay. then you add the uh, ginger garlic paste and the soup. The, okay. the stock. If you have all this in the right proportion and you close it and leave it on sim, or if you have right rice cooker, it's even more better. You take the mixture of just the meat and all the spices and put it in the rice cooker. And then I add three cups of rice and I add six cups of stock. And then put it with salt. And then you put uh, coriander leaves and you close it. And in half an hour, your house is filled with the aroma and your guests will come back again and again yes. and again. This was like 10 years ago. I'm still thinking about that rice. It was that good. Yeah, I do cook for us. <laughs> uh, once when we had our meeting, you know, our ministry update meetings, mm -hmm. I cooked like 120 people here. What? Yeah, we wow. cooked rice and tikka masala and butter chicken. Okay. And that will be another Facebook live with you. <laughs> we'll have to do this live. Yes. Cooking with you. Yes, right. Yes. I bet you people are going like, to be like, what's the recipe? What's the recipe? Yeah. So, yes. Oh, okay. Well, now that we've got the real food out the way, let's let's talk about spiritual food because yeah. you are the real deal. God like, great. I mean, I've met a lot of people, but you are, you are the real God deal. Like, you love Jesus, and you walk in that anointing and that grace. Um, and I know some people watching are like, how do you pray? I mean, some people can't even pray for five minutes. How do you pray all night? You know. And I I want to say this because there was this quote you said. I'll pull it up. I wrote it down. It was so good. Um, you said, when prayer becomes your life, miracles become your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And that's what you walk in. Mm -hmm. So teach us, how do we pray like that? First is that we have to get down to the basics. You know, as everybody's watching, I'd like you to go back and step back from your life and think, what am I living for and why am I in this world? And if you would answer these two questions, the root of these questions will go down to, you are God's idea. You are in here because God wants you here. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the plan of God is already made for your life. 
Bible says, how marvelous are your thoughts towards me, O God. If I would count them, they are more than the number of the sand on the seashore. So God has prepared a life, purpose in your life. And I want to tell you the reason what we do, why we do is because there is no other reason for me to live. Mm. Because in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And when you taste the joy, the taste of blessing other people, I mean, honestly, you could take me to a million dollar store and ask me to buy a million dollar thing, but it's not going to be joy. But you, when one soul comes to Jesus, or one miracle happens, you know, somebody with a diabetic got healed, or backbone got healed, or, you know, a, a, a person that is deaf, God opened the eyes, or, you know, you give a blanket to a man that's cold, or a meal to somebody that's hungry, and the joy that you see on their faces is priceless. Friends, let me tell you, God has created you to be a blessing. And once you get accustomed to the anointing realm, that supernatural realm, you will run from any other thing that will take away from that from Jesus. That's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. So as you seek God, whatever you're running after in the world today, whatever you're seeking, your family, you know, your finances, your job, whatever you need, everything will come behind you when we prioritize God first in our life and she told me how do you pray the reason I pray which is a small family but the places God takes us to are very dark dangerous places where they don't even know the gospel places that we go in Africa or they have no water no electricity we go into the bushes where we bring the gospel we go to you know Malaysia we go to you know Burma we go to India just had a crusade one month ago in the city of Madurai, which is a temple city. And so, you know, you go into these places where it's so dark and people need the Lord. They need encounter with Jesus because guess what? The world is searching for the answer. People are searching, where can I find real love? Where can I find acceptance? Because all of us are trying to keep up with something and really you cannot keep up with anybody other than the only person that created you. When God created you, he put a vacuum in your heart. And that vacuum can be filled only by Jesus. Nothing else, money cannot fulfill that. You know, sex cannot fulfill that. Shopping cannot fulfill that. Materialism cannot fulfill that. Beauty, anything that the world offers cannot fulfill that. And so to us, only Jesus can fulfill that. But to us, as God sends us, us to these places, there are tens and thousands of people that we minister to, either media or through radio or through crusades, you know, thousands of people. So I cannot do anything apart from God. I can do nothing. So I need the presence of God. I need the glory of God. And so God can use only what is in you. And that's why I spend hours at the presence of God. Sometime just to worship him. Because we have so many people today, they are going to God for his hand. But God is looking for people that will seek his, face. Mm, seek his face. So you're saying just start with, like practically, you may get up and you're like, okay, maybe worship. Maybe someone has never prayed before. Mm -hmm. They don't even know yeah. how to start. Mm -hmm. So just come and say, Jesus. Yeah, you wake up in the yeah. morning and you say, Lord, I, I want your strength. Okay. I start with that. Because when I wake up in the morning, I'm grumpy. But I don't have Jesus. Yeah. You know, I'm tired. You know, oh, another morning. Because it's been a long day. But when I go into his presence, the Lord speak me through your word. Let me tell you, God's word is true. And you take that Bible and read. Reinhard Bonnke said, when, when you begin to open the mouth and read God's word, God begins to open his mouth and speak through you. Mm. And he says, God's word in your mouth is as powerful as God's word in his mouth. Wow, that's good. And God says, he has elevated his word above his name. Yeah. So every word is true. And so when I open the Bible and read, that's my cereal, spiritual food in the morning. You know, that's my... Before the biryani. Before the biryani. <laughs> before the oranges. Yeah. Before the day comes. I have to fill my mind. Because if you know today, um, you know, the, the, the worldly news is draining you. Yeah. There's no hope. Yeah. There's no hope politically. There's no hope financially. Economy is going down. You know, there's no, nothing real in this life. Mm -hmm. So the only thing real is the anchor. Because you could be in the middle of a most dangerous place, but if you're with God, you're in the safest place. It begins with Him. Yeah. And yeah. in the will of God, there is provision, there's protection, there is peace, and there's purpose. Mm -hmm. And you travel with all of your family. Yeah. How do you even afford that? You know, like I, you, there's five of them. Yeah. They travel, what, yeah. seven countries? 
Yeah, every summer. Every summer. It's not even yeah. the travel. You know, we had a crusade, you know, that thousands come. And now we are going next week to India. Somebody invited us mm -hmm. to a pastor's conference. We're going to be feeding 2,000 pastors, three meals a day. That's all on you. Yeah, all on us. Okay. And, <laughs> and the travel. So and you need miracles yes. everywhere you and go. And then we were in yeah. Uganda. We have medical camps, you mm -hmm. know. Thousands of people come. God provides. And then we have wells. We dig wells. And, and here's the thing. Only one word God says, go. And when you go, all I have to say is, Lord, you told me to go. Now this is your bill. Wow. When you're in his will, it's his bill. He provides. You know what? You're living, seek first the kingdom and all these things. And, you know, I, we could talk for hours, yes. I know. But I do want you to yes. know that she wrote a book. It's called The Extraordinary Life and Ministry of Tommy Lee Osborne. This is a beautiful book. I would encourage you to go and get it. Mm -hmm. um, he started Crusades in India. Um, he inspired mm -hmm. you. You did your yeah. dissertation yeah. on him. Yeah. Um, and now you're walking in those miracles. I mean, you see yeah. stuff, and I feel like people watching, a lot of times we think, like, even when you have a cold, you reach for the ibuprofen. I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but God literally heals, like, yeah. he heals the blind, mm -hmm. people with skin diseases, mm -hmm. people with all kinds of, this mm -hmm. is today. It's mm -hmm. not like reading back in the mm -hmm. Bible. So mm -hmm. someone watching mm -hmm. now, maybe they're going through something, and mm -hmm. they're, I just want you to close this out in a prayer, mm -hmm. like, because I know you walk in that healing mm -hmm. anointing. Mm -hmm. They're going through something. Mm -hmm. They're sick. They've been mm -hmm. to doctors. Yeah. They feel hopeless. Mm -hmm. um, so can you just... Yeah. just As you were talking, somebody just, I felt like some people are concerned about their finances. Mm -hmm. And the reason even I said all this to tell you that when you're in the will of God, don't worry about finances. Mm -hmm. God is your provider. Not man. Not man. You don't go to man for finances. But in the will of God, you can live like a millionaire mm -hmm. because there's power in the word of God. And that's not saying name it and claim it. I'm talking about when there is a genuine need. You can go to God and say, Lord, I only have five loaves and two fishes. Mm -hmm. And God will multiply that for you. You may be going in the wilderness and there could be a mountain and the people need water. And, and God didn't bring rain for them. But he said to Moses, speak to that mountain. Friends, God loves to provide for you in the midst of the most unusual circumstances. He loves, sometimes he takes you to the darkest places for his glory to be revealed. There was a blind man and people asked, who sent him or his parents? And Jesus said, no, for the glory of God yeah. to be revealed. So I feel very strongly, some of you are worried about your finances. And right now I'm gonna pray for that. And what else do you want me to pray for? Healing, someone healing. Healing and miracles, yes. Yeah. And healing, let me tell you, is children's bread. And sometimes God will allow a sickness in, in your life so that his glory can be revealed. How many times, you know, I used to struggle with, uh, with the, you know, for respiratory allergy to asthma. Breathing is very hard. And I would be in a crusade in Africa and the red dust would just completely, you know, choke my lungs. And I would be like, Lord, I can't speak today. I'm so weak. But the moment I go stand in the pulpit, the glory of God will come. And the next three minutes, that asthma will just leave like that. And so many times I find that, you know, that the trial comes and then the breakthrough comes. The trial comes. So that tension between trusting God and your weakness goes together. And let me tell you, it's a beautiful place because God's anointing flows in brokenness. If we are not broken, there's no anointing. If there is no need, there is no miracle. If there is no, uh, you know, heart in a rock place, there is no Red Sea, there is, you can't walk through. So obstacles in our life are there to reveal the glory of God. And I want to say it's some 30 very strongly right now. You've been worried about a relationship and the Lord wants you to know he's more than enough for you. He's more than enough for you. That, bro that heart that's broken, God's going to heal that. And somebody here is having migraine headache, terrible migraine headache on your right side. The Lord is touching you right now and receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Someone here has a problem with your spine and your neck. You're not able to turn for the past two weeks when you're sleeping uh, or when you wake up, you can't move your neck. Right now, move your neck. The Lord is healing you of that in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And somebody right now, I don't know if you're a teenager, you've been asking God, Lord, I can't study. I can't concentrate. Every time you try to concentrate, you've been distracted. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me right now. God has heard that prayer and that distraction is gone in the name of Jesus. Ask the protection of God over you. And ask God to protect you with the armor of God every day. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So God's going to release that wisdom into you right now in Jesus' name. And also somebody with heart problems, the Lord is healing you right now in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up your children right now. Lord, 
those who need a miracle lord financially provision many people are watching right now lord you are the provider you are the provider lord and we lack nothing because we are in the will of God and so for your children right now lord i release that same faith lord i release that abundance i release the pro provision for them in the mighty name of jesus father i see many people in the front of many people are in transition right now and you're afraid to move forward and the lord is saying don't be afraid to take the next step i am with you just walk on the water i'm with you i will divide the red sea God wants to divide the Red Sea, but He wants you to go there. And also the Lord is somebody is been delaying and the Lord is saying, keep moving, keep moving. The cloud is moving. The, the, the fire of God is moving in front of you. Just go. And the Lord says, the battle belongs to me in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Father, those who are praying, who need healing in their body, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we release your supernatural healing right now. It is not by might. It is not by power, but by your spirit, oh Lord, all things are possible. Yeah. So today, Lord, I pray that many testimonies will come back to CBN, that yeah. there's a miracle working God yeah. and perform miracles right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. As somebody who sprained your ankle or your elbow, the Lord is healing those joints right now. That inflammation is leaving in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray for them. Some people need peace in their family. You're burdened about your family. Father, I pray for the peace of God in marriages. Mm -hmm. Peace of God in the family. Lord, release your peace in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray for healing, provision, faith, peace, and most of all, your favor to surround your children. Be a wall of fire around them and be the glory in their midst. Bless them, Lord, and prosper them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 It was an honor. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Love Thank you. I love you too. Simi is one of my best friends and, and, and a divine connection and a godly partner in my life. Prayer partner. Thank so, you. It's an, an honor. It's an honor to have you in my life as well. Thank you for having us. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.